friends, today we are in the kitchen. Uh, in one of my previous videos, I talked about making murder sauce for hive beetle control, and I didn't really explain the recipe. I got the recipe from someone else's uh, YouTube video, Mike Burns, um, and he, in his video, he puts a whole container of Crisco and one cup of diatomaceous earth and he says 10 drops of eucalyptus oil and he just sort of pours it in. Um, I don't need to make three pounds of this stuff. I use it very sparingly. Um, so I broke down the recipe a little bit and today I'm gonna show you the proportions that I'm gonna use. Uh, an entire can of this size Crisco is three pounds and works out to about seven cups. So I wanna store all this. I am going to measure out one cup of the Crisco, approximately. Nothing in beekeeping is an exact science. I want to be a little bit scientific about this, so we're going to measure. So the proportion of a whole thing of Crisco and one cup of diatomaceous earth is a seven to one ratio. There are 16 tablespoons in one cup. So if I do that math, it tells me I should put in two, two tablespoons of the diatomaceous earth for every one cup of Crisco. And the reason I'm making this again, uh, the original, when I did this originally, I used a animal fat, because I have it left over from cooking. And out in the heat, it got really runny. I need something that's going to hold together a little bit more, so hopefully this will do the trick. Um, another thing Mike does in his recipe, let's see, two drops we'll put in of the eucalyptus oil. And he uses this as an attractant. Okay, three or four drops. Use this as an attractant because the bees aren't interested in this. And he spreads his finished mixture on his high bottom board directly, where the bees could actually touch it. Since they're not interested in eating it, it's safe for the bees. I want a little food coloring too because. When you're putting something white in something white, you're going to have a really hard time knowing when it's completely mixed up. So. I'm just going to stir this for a while. We were stopping here, you'd have the same recipe for as Mike's, where if you're going to put it right on the bottom board, that's where you'd want to stop. For me, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to add a little bit of pollen patty to make it more like bait for the beetles. 
Uh, I bought these online thinking well my bees were brand new and strengthening that I'd give them a little food supplement. Um, and that turned out to be a huge mistake. Because in Florida, we don't really have winter, so. The bees didn't eat it, but I tell you what, the hive beetles were so attracted to this and they started laying eggs in this. I think there's honey in it. Doesn't smell very appetizing, but. The hive beetles went for this and made a horrible mess. And what I'm gonna do, once this is all mixed up, I put this in a trap. So it's gonna go inside this little square, and then when this closes, the beetles can get in through the little entrance, but the bees cannot. So, I want to do a couple variations. I'm going to start out with just the diatomaceous earth and a little bait where they can get in here. And the other kind of trap that I used, but I didn't like it first because I didn't really know how to use it, looked like this. So this trap has three compartments and I was pouring the oil out of one of these spout things. Because my gloves on, I was trying to pick at it right here to open it up. And didn't really see this big tab that makes it open up. So there's a way to use these properly is to put some bait that the beetles will be attracted to in the center compartment. And then oil, olive oil in here. And then when you put it on your high frame, the beetles will go in here trying to get to the bait and drown in the oil. That's the way these work. The beetle barn, they just go in here and hopefully eat my poisonous beetle butter and die. really thinking I should warm this up a little bit. Alright, cheat a little bit. Food coloring didn't do a lot, but it's mixed up good enough for me. The reason why this works to kill hive beetles is diatomaceous earth is made from microscopic prehistoric sea creatures. I don't know how they make it, but I'll put a picture up here of what they look like on a microscopic level, and it's essentially like adding broken glass to the beetle food. Um, I'm using the pollen patty because I had it. I bought them and now I don't have anything else to do with them. Uh, but keep them in my freezer because I'm not going to put these back in the hive like I did. That was gross. So at this stage it's still wouldn't want the bees to eat it but since I'm putting it in the trap it's good. Now there's something else I'm going to try eventually, and that is um, eventually I'm going to try putting some of this Scott's Grub X in the recipe. Now this is actually a poison that will kill the beetles, and at the level it will kill the beetles, it is still safe for the bees. And again, I'm putting it in these traps where the bees can't get to it. 
this um, active ingredient in Scott Scrub X, which I'm going to try to read. Chloran. <laughs> Chlorantantiprol. Chlorantantiprol. I'm definitely saying that wrong. And this mixture in the Glarbex is 0.08%. 0.08% active ingredient of the chlorantian. I'll put a word up here and you try to say it. So the active ingredient. 0.08% uh, in this, and I sprinkle this around the hives on the ground because the beetles have to, once the eggs are laid, they eat honey and pollen and they have to crawl and make a mess in the hive. They actually have to crawl down to the ground to pupate and turn into flying beetles again. It'll fly back into the hive and start the process over again. So, if you kill them in the ground, you break the life cycle. But the bees, the beetles, the beetles can fly, so there could be a feral hive in the area that's non-treated, and you're never gonna kill them completely. They're everywhere. So, control is all we can really do. So this actually breaks the life cycle and keeps, keeps them from coming back in mass in the hive. But this is as far as I'm gonna take this version because I'm gonna give it a go, see how it works first. And then for so, some reason we still have um, what I feel is an unacceptable level of hive beetles. We'll go for the, I'll figure out the ratio on the poison. For now. Thank you, Wawa, for your disposable storage containers. I'm gonna and that's it. We have peanut butter ready to go into our traps. We'll go out into the bee yard and keep our bees safe. I will see you out there in the next video doing that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.